boom, it's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. What up, everybody? Just going to get started here in a minute or two. What up, Tony C? Yeah, it's definitely for a pie. It's called Fruit Box. And uh, it's included on the particular ROM that I have, or bill that I have. Um, but you can install it on the pie on any build. And it's pretty cool. And you get to map all the buttons. You get to map all the buttons. I have a diagram on my on my Dropbox that outlines all of the buttons. But you can basically just use your buttons here to control the music. You can pause the music, skip to the next track, turn the pages. You know, so all the buttons have a particular function. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So when you're, you know, playing a different game, this thing's just sitting here, right? So you can get it to uh, play some music for you. And I can control the volume. <laughs> So every every uh, every part of the controls can actually control the the music playback. And so I'm just talking about some multi-use type things. So so that's one way that you can have a multi-purpose function. And then here I have uh, my Legends Ultimate playing some Legends football. So I just have a fire stick plugged into it. And so I can, you know, watch some, a little bit of football while I'm playing some games. And that's just, I could have it plugged directly into the Legends tier. But I have a, a uh, hub, USB hub, where the fire stick's plugged into. Or, or actually, this is not the fire stick. This is my Chrome. 
Chromecast. So I don't need any remote. I can just tell Google to play certain things. So that's pretty cool. I'm supposed to get something on Saturday, so I'll really start utilizing my my Legends Ultimate. Yeah, because otherwise, you know, I, I like having these things all on because it looks really nice, different sounds. Uh, but it's good to have multi-purpose. I don't have to be trying to strain to watch the 50-inch TV over there. This one's right next to where the games are. I can watch things there. And, uh, and this one's, so this is my pinball. And since it's a PC, you know, I can have certain things like you can see those gals dancing up there on the black back glass. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and they can go to different degrees of how, you know, how active they're going to be with their, um, with their routines. So that's pretty cool. And even if I was playing a game, it, you know, they're up there. So just to add a little man cave feature, you know, you can have that because it's a PC, you can have this, this, that screensaver going at the same time. Uh, you you talking about the Vectrex? You talking about the old school of uh, um, vector games? It's, it seems like that name's off a little bit. I, I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about. It was a little, it was a little standalone uh, arcade game. Uh, oh, oh, a triangle side cab. Oh, no, I have, to, I have to look into that. I have never heard of that. And so with that particular triangular sided cab, it's just, it's just the cabinet itself. It doesn't, does it particularly, does it normally have like a, uh, vertical screen or a horizontal screen. Okay, horizontal. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I would love to see that, Tony. If you're on Facebook uh, Messenger or whatever, you know, shoot me a link or something. Or if you're on one of the groups, definitely do that. So this is my this is my favorite cab right here. This is my Galaga modded. I had a problem with this thing here where all of a sudden the image just was bad, and uh, I wasn't able to uh, play anything. So I finally got this thing going last uh, couple days ago. I got this particular image called Button Masher. It's a vertical only image, where before I didn't have a, I didn't have a vertical only, uh, but I only show the vertical games. But this is nice because now even the screensaver type games are all going to be vertical. Where before it, the screensaver would would possibly display horizontal games, which is. You could play it, but then it would look wacky on here. So I'm glad to have all vertical games now. It's a pretty nice image called Button Masher. So what cabinets do you have, Tony? Are, are they all just cabinets you built yourself or... What, what do you, what do you have?
Okay, all of them out it. Now, I, I thought about... I originally started off modding everything. Uh, I modded a lot for people, for other people. You know, they brought me their cabinet and then I modded it for them. I never sold cabinets, you know. I, I uh, got uh, charged for my services to, to mod them. So, so with your Galaga, you're saying it's got, oh, so it's got 146, so it's probably what, uh, a, probably a 64 gig card you got in there? And is, and is your Galaga just strictly shoot 'em up games? No. Oh, Jamma board, okay. I see it's not a pie, right. And so is the the 146 and 1, is that only just shoot 'em up so you don't have any other vertical games? Oh, wow. See, I, I, I've never really been a fan of too many shoot 'em ups. I think my issue was, you know, I call, it, I call them uh, kitchen sink shooters, right? You know, it's like you're throwing everything in but the kitchen sink. You know, I like the Galaga. I like the simpler shoot 'em ups. Um, it's just, it's just too much on the screen for me, I guess. So even like, even like 1942, I can play that from time to time. But most of those, those uh, shoot 'em ups just have way too much stuff going on. You know. Now, do you have any coin doors? in your machines what up Niv Nevo 1972 did they throw in Super Contra let me check I'm pretty sure they did uh, hold this button now I can jump down faster nope no, it don't look like it. It's just the only thing starts with super is super punch out. Uh, what about just regular con? Do they have regular contra? A regular contra, that's not vertical, is it? Let's see. Oh, okay, so you're one, you know, 146 and one has super contra, okay. Well, I guess it is. Yeah, I I, uh, I have coin doors in, in Galaga here and in the Street Fighter over there. Street Fighter has two, has a double coin door. I'm thinking about doing a coin door maybe in... Uh, in the golden tee, because a lot of people always ask, is like, can I put the go the coin the coin door on an unmodified cabinet? I'm like, of course, it's just buttons. You can put a button to do whatever you want. You know, you just have to wire it to the appropriate function of the cabinet. Man, Contra used to be my game, man. I haven't played it so long. And I don't think I've ever played it on the joystick with a joystick. I don't know if I have. See, I won't be able to do the directionals. Don't want to lose this gun. Only thing about you know playing this without an eight way, it's going to be pretty, pretty difficult to play. Because I got a four way on that, so I end up hiding the uh, the games that's not four way then.
So are you guys in pinball, guys? Are you guys going to get yourself a pinball table? Final Fight conversion has a Pi. Yeah, I still have the Pi 3B+. Plus. I've had a 4 for ages, but I had not done anything with it. Yeah, I bought this four when it first came out, and I've still yet to do anything with it. Oh, I, I have a card in there, too. So I'm sure I have an image, one of the first images on here, but I, I have never plugged it in. I had trouble with the cable. I don't even know where that little micro cable is, the HDMI. I have to find that. It's probably upstairs. But I'll have to pull this out and actually do something with it soon. Yeah, Attack from Mars, that's that's definitely a sweet looking cabinet. Great selection of games. I I enjoy uh Attack from Mars because it has really it has real clear objectives. And uh you can have you can have some fun with it. Zen, I have the regular one, and I have the Zen version. And the Zen version, which is what you have, is actually, I don't mind it, because usually I don't like the Zen tables because they they get too, too much crazy stuff going on. Uh, the back glass is 19, 19 inches. Thanks, Nevo. Yep, four by three, yep. Let's do the Zen. Cause that's what you'll be having. Yeah, Zen, the Zen studio table for the Attack to Mars has just enough um, animation just to make it interesting. Uh, I just don't like all the the extra stuff that they have on there. What's going on here? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, for some reason, I don't have my um. I don't have my keyboard thing launching automatically. I need to fix that. Which one is that? I think it's the... The Joy to Key. So I don't have Joy to Key starting up automatically, which I need to put that in my auto exec. There we go. Yeah, I, I found my monitor at the Salvation Army. Ah, uh, come on. I found that the Salvation local Sal Sal Salvation Army. They had quite a few in at the time. I should have grabbed all the ones that they had. I think it was like 13 bucks, or $11. This is in my video when I was building it. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't expensive at all. Oh well. Okay, Tony C. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, brother. If you want to go check out Retro Rev. 
I can't keep up with Retro Ralph and uh, P Dubs. They they make a video every five seconds. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tony. Man, can't watch the screen in. I'm trying to see what you're saying there, Nebo. 129 for the version. I'm not sure what the resolution is uh, offhand, but it's pretty high. I got a pretty good graphics card in here. Everything looks everything looks crystal clear. Yeah, I, I don't have any complaints about how this turned out. I mean, obviously, I I, I didn't cut the back glass as as, as good as it could have been. Or I, Got a little paint on the screen, you know, things like that. Uh, I still need to do like a a black edge on the inside of the of the back glass uh, glass or plexi, um, just to hide some of the wood up back there. But not, nothing that's a showstopper. You definitely have to take advantage of those because people throw out monitors all the time. I mean, at my job, we we have a company come pick up those old monitors and things all the time. I wish I could keep them myself, but that's not allowed. Now at work we uh we have all like the 24 inch screens and you know, we don't do anything square hardly anymore. Everything's a uh, horizontal, rectangle shaped monitors. I mean this screen is huge. I mean uh, for it to be a 24 inch man. I mean this I don't have any problem playing pinball. It's just perfect size with the cabinet. Obviously, a 32 would be nice on here without having all the bezel. But once you're playing, you're just looking at the screen. Yeah, I got I got the speakers from the Salvation Army, which were really really nice speakers for almost nothing as well, along with the monitor and there was something else I got from the Salvage Army, Salvation Army. Um, and, and and they have old computers there too. I didn't look at any of them because I already have access to that type of thing. But 
yeah, this is not a this this is not a very new computer, it, but it's efficient. It's a um, i5 Intel. I think it has like 16 gig of memory. The only thing I need to do, uh, which is still not a big deal, is I need to I need to uh, change out the hard drive from the from the um, moving head uh, hard drive to a SSD. I notice when I'm uh, just starting up, uh, it may be a little sluggish until everything loads, and then that's just all from that hard drive speed. Uh, so that's gonna be my next thing I do here is to change that out. <coughs> Won't be that big of a deal to do. So Saturday, I'm supposed to get my uh, my my uh, CoinOps X USB, and so I'll be able to start utilizing the Legends Ultimate a little more. Um, right now, I'm just using it as a TV because all the games that come on there I already have available somewhere else, and even the, even when I get the the um, CoinOps, I, st I still gonna have a games that I can play somewhere else, but that's a big screen there. I mean, I, I, I like the size of that screen. Definitely want to be able to start playing games uh, that utilize that full screen. Yeah, I hadn't heard of that package that you're talking about either. So when you say make the back glass active, what, what does that mean? Other than the B2S, what, 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 are you, what type of action is happening on there? I mean, is, is it similar to pinup pin up popper or pinup player? I'll have to Google that. Oh, okay. Yes, some of them do it automatically. I don't know why. I guess I guess some some tables have it built in where you'll have the activity and then some don't. Like like on this one, you see the little shark up in the top corner, a, a blink. Are you talking about like that, or are you talking about something different than that? Always talk about this Alice family. I I just I don't know. I don't know. It, it doesn't really do anything for me. I I used to love the show growing up, and um, but the game I don't know. Yeah, I have South Park, I believe. See what you're saying. So actual rotations. Okay. The first is just the lights. I got you. Uh where's my keyboard? Let me if I can move these ladies from the play field. Like her up here. Certainly 
All right, got those ladies out the way on the play field. Don't kick the baby. Marking ball.
That's it. <laughs> no, that's not Pinna Papa. That's a that's a program called Ice Stripper that just runs on the PC as a over the screen overlay. I thought it was a beavers and butthead. I know I was looking for that. Let's see. Let's party. Oh, no. Guess not. I'm Batman. Welcome to Steam Harbor. Ladies, I gotta go uh, come off my off my play field. You guys gotta go back to the back glass. Thank you. 
Both locked. There we go. Multi ball. Come on, baby. Come on. Why is this? Why is this release one? Didn't they do the monkey ball? That was crazy. You gotta come back with me. Come on. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this thing here. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the web.